There's nothing like a crisp, fresh apple, but growers must combat a variety of diseases in order to keep apple trees healthy. Apple rust, the most common fungal disease of apple in Kentucky, can lead to unhealthy trees and poor quality fruit. Apples require a preventative program. They require maintenance. You know, each spring, as the leaves begin to come out, we implement a plant protection program. And we maintain that through the spring and, and early to midsummer. And it ends up giving us nice quality fruit at the end. And we feel like we provide a really healthy fruit for everyone that's blemish free. Because we want our customers to make sure they have fruit that is very safe to eat. Considering that Kentucky has so many cedar trees which provide infective spores for apple rusts and that our weather conditions are favorable for disease development, a disease management program is important. Symptoms begin in spring as leaf spots and then progress into large lesions that can cause leaf drop. Fruit infections cause similar lesions and fruit develop corky tissue that makes it inedible. For a better understanding of disease control, it is important to know a little about the pathogens that cause apple rust disease. Before symptoms develop on apple, infective spores are produced from a fungal structure on cedar and other juniper hosts. This stage occurs in spring just as apple trees leaf out. The term cedar apple rust is somewhat of a collective term used to describe a group of similar fungi. Cedar apple rust and cedar hawthorn rust produce large, spore-forming galls on juniper, while cedar quince rust is held more tightly against branches. During warm, rainy spring days, galls swell up and release spores. When rain stops, they dry up. But this swelling can occur multiple times over the course of several weeks. This is the critical period in which apple must be protected. In fact, this is the only opportunity growers have to protect plants. If apple become infected, lesions develop in late spring and continue to expand throughout the summer. Eventually, these lesions produce another spore type that infects juniper, and then the cycle begins all over again. The University of Kentucky College of Agriculture and Department of Plant Pathology have a wide range of disease management publications available for both commercial growers and homeowners alike. So contact your local county extension agent for more information.